Hey guys, it's me, Motive Games. I'm just here to remind y'all that if you're enjoying the content, drop a like and hit the subscribe button down below. Maybe leave us a comment knowing what kind of content you'd like to see going forward into the future. My editor does a really good job on these videos and works really hard. And any little bit of insight you can give us on what you'd like to see more is really helpful. Enjoy the video. What's your name? Is it Meismer? Oh uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's how you pronounce it. Okay, perfect. They look good. So, um, are you familiar with how the coaching sessions normally go? I've seen a few videos or two, so okay. I think I have an idea. Perfect. So, uh, first thing I normally ask is, uh, is what do you, uh, is there anything specific you want me to focus on, uh, that you may feel oh. like you're weak in? I think matchups, maybe? Okay, yeah, uh, matchups can be a pretty solid thing. And then, uh, what build will we be playing today? Or character? Uh, I have, have three that I'm trying to do, depending on whether the route's contested or not. So it's the standard top and then the two below. Okay. Yeah, no, these these all do look pretty standard, you're right. So this is all right. Uh, what's the alternate spray if you're contested? I'm curious. Because I know there is one that does chapel first. Okay, so there are all three archery range starts? Oh, no, one cemetery tree. Okay. Uh, school first. I guess I can kind of understand that. School has been a pretty, like, commonly contested zone for some reason this patch. I see about four or five spawning archery every round, so I yeah. just go to school instead. So something a guy named PM Howard did for a while. Uh, he doesn't play much anymore, but still a solid guy. Is he would start chapel first and then go to school second. Uh, there's some items you can't make doing that routing, but... Uh, it's pretty solid, you know, uh, just as a, like an optional piece to think about later. Yeah, I, I've done that a couple of times because it lets me guarantee a paper right. right on the spot. But then when I go to archery range later on, I just can't find my nail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can be rough. All right. So uh, how do you feel about your food as you're going through the middle of the game? Do you feel like you're often scrambling to make more food or do you have a pretty solid idea of what you're making? And same for I think I have, oh, I think I make, make too much, really. That's okay. I gotcha. I mean, I always try to have at least one six hundred or one seven hundred, right. at least a full stack of it before I fight anyone. That can definitely be a big problem early game. So if I notice that, I'll mention it. But my best advice is just to focus on making only one thing of food for the early game, and then once you yeah. finish your routing, that's when you'll start transitioning to your mid game hoarding. Yep, um, got it. All right, so we can just go ahead and queue up then if you want, and we'll start getting into things. Oh, uh, do you care about normal or ranked? I don't. I don't think we'll find a ranked game right now, but if you want to queue ranked, by all means, I normally ask that we only wait five minutes, though. Yeah, I sat in a queue for 60 minutes just before, and it didn't get popped, so... Yeah, everyone's playing normals right now because it's preseason, so it's very rare for you to find a ranked game. Uh, but next week, that'll change. Mm, so how do you feel about Leon at the moment? Most people think he's really good. I don't know. I'm on the other side, actually. I think if they made his pond, I don't care if they shorten the range of his pools when he casts his Q, but as long as if they don't make it so telegraphed, then it might help him in his matchups because people just step out of his Q and you can't really combo that much, and you get kited around. Yeah, I can feel that way sometimes, I think. A lot so of once people... He, yeah? Once he does catch you, like, once you do catch the guy, you can kill him in two seconds flat, but... So that's the part that people complain about, but I think... If you just kite out his Q, his pulls, then he just can't do anything but take hits. Uh, that's kind of true. I mean, he does a lot of damage regardless with his W. A lot of people seem to agree that they think that he's one of the best characters in the game. Just because of how tanky ends up being with all the items he wants to build, like, you end up on Bracelet of Scotty with a shit ton of HP, so... He right, I mean, I haven't done a game where I'm below 2700. Okay. Yeah, it's quite a bit. <clears throat> It does look like not too too many like new additions to him this patch. Oh, there's a factory start one now. Huh. That's interesting. Oh, Leon Main trying to say Leon is a broken. I mean, no one wants to say their character is broken. They get a little more insight on the bad matchups. As we all said, main bad, you know? Like even when Hyunwoo, or even when Magnus was like insanely busted way back in the day, I was sitting there for a long time saying, like, Magnus isn't that good. What are y'all talking about? <clears throat> Not to shit on your opinion or anything, but it's like, everyone has different opinions of their character and what everyone else thinks, you know? It's common. Yeah, that's something I have to deal with. I told everyone Alex was broken when I played him. 
Jessica is a cut above the rest, I see. Pretty solid starts here. <laughs> It'd be nice if that actually went out to everyone else. Maybe we'll get all chat one day. Hopefully. All right, Ice Hal, we'll see you later. Spread news in a verse chat? I mean, yeah. But a verse chat, they're blind. They'll, they only listen to whatever he says. I swear, there's like a massive number of people I s that watch a verse and I don't think they do anything else for this game. <clears throat> no hate on a verse, just as viewers. All right, now we have to wait at this long loading screen. Do you contest Alpha or Omega at all? I guess contesting no, Alpha not is really. hard because you're going for tree, but... Yeah, I just try to... If I can't do Hotel Tree, then I'll, I'll try to contest Alpha and try to make a Meteor item, but... Understandable. I, I, don't, I don't know, I haven't really encountered it much. I think it's something to keep in mind, even if you don't want the item too much, denying it from other people, and then also assuming other people will be there could help you force early fights. Right, but then the problem is that I'd have to just go around Uptown and Alley quite a bit, and that's not really part of my route. That's true. So uh, I, normally I what I would say... I'm not in that area when he spawns. Right, normally what I would say is if you have the time, you make it, so to speak, you know, like you're done with your build, you can just go there, because it's like a good spot for food and stamina anyways, and then you just kill him, and then you go on about your day. But if you're if you have better things to do, it's not worth it, no. Right. Right. <laughs> Pretty solid so far. Okay. And we're gonna TP from here. Yeah, and try to get a lighter if I can. Can be helpful. Don't forget you have oil cloth you can drop. I'm gonna save that to make a fire trap if I can. Okay. It's nice because we have a little bit more time to actually prepare for tree than we did before. Right. So we can actually consistently get more items online compared to builds that were already full build anyways. My perspective Accidentally crafted the Lemon yeah. Cake. Hmm. Don't forget to grab that fried oil. And then the uh, meat out of the wolves as well. You don't have to do both, but just one. Because it's like we could use a 700 heal before this fight. Right. And now we pretty much want to get moving down there. Uh, 
나지 않았어. There is someone there, so it is going to be a fight. 새 금지 구역이 지정되었습니다. 생존자가 사망했습니다. 바브라. 생존자가 사망했습니다. She's kind of low. You, I would break the camera. Yeah, good. This can be rough. No, I'm gonna just skip it at this rate. That was good. That's pretty much what you need to do there is break the camera and then wait for her to come back in and then jump on her. Bro, I usually get like four or five seconds if I break the camera. Yeah. It's very annoying. <laughs> so the big thing for that matchup you have to keep in mind is breaking the camera pretty much kills her damage um so i think what you have to do there is like when she dropped the camera on you there just auto w it to destroy it instantly and then like q and just literally run her down to the point where she has right, to leave yeah because like being in pools is a lot of damage for you but i think most of the damage from your kit actually comes from w so as long as you have w up to like smack her with i think you're fine to fight yeah i'm just trying to stay in the pool to catch her with e i understand but that also gets me killed too You don't have to be in the pool to E, do you? You can be outside of it, can't you? Nice, just missing piano wire and battery. Hmm. What are you looking for, eggs? Yeah, I'm just trying to make a get rid of the inventory, but it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is probably the point in the game where I would have said like going for alpha wouldn't have been bad. Just because it's like you don't have finished headpiece anyways and you can get mithril helm with it uh, and then there's right. also the option of like kundala i guess i don't know if it's any good on him or not but it's just something to think about I, yeah it's I not good on leon since so. he relies on flat app so much but... right we don't have any percent app really in our scaling either like hammer does so probably end up just getting alpha for like mithril helm maybe just because it, it gives you some ms so you can actually run people down and then uh the CD, extra cdr is a little nice Oh, did you eat the other egg instead of making birthday cake? No, I'm gonna make ice ramen. Okay. Because I saw we dropped the the lemon cakes, but I swore we had an egg earlier. I don't know what happened to it. Oh yeah, no, I got rid of it. I think making birthday cake would have been fine, but it's fine. It's a 650 heal uh, for two. That's not bad. But we're good here. Okay, bears are dead. So where do you want to go? Oh, I'm gonna go to cemetery, make my fire trap, and then look for people. Yeah. 
연쇄 처치 중입니다. 야, 보자. He gets away here. Hmm. Unfortunate. Yeah, if we had, I think you should have just kept the wider angle to keep in mind about his E. Um, but even then, it's like, it's still like gonna be tough just because of how tanky he is. Right. Didn't the tree of life just spawn here? Oh, I think that's hospital and forest. Ah, uh, you're right. It spawns here first. I'm so dumb. I've been actually playing pills that go for it too, and I couldn't even remember that. Mm, that's a hard fight. Doable, but hard. What's she on? Laurel? Mm, not as good as I was thinking. You would have thought frag by now? Yeah. Is that tree of life up? It's gone, isn't it? Oh, it's up. It's up. I would probably prioritize that. She well, took it. Gone That's what I figured. Yeah, she's trying to get frag online. So you can guess that she's going to go for meteorite. So you could go to factory to try and sniper at meteorite. I could. Yeah, that's a plan. You'll have to hurry there, because I think she just teleported there, though. Yep. Oop. A little preemptive on the ult. Yeah, I, I mistimed it, but... Yeah, she already took the meteorite. Hmm... Doc's closing, so where do you want to go? Because Doc is ideally where we would head next, but that's closing, so there's no reason to. At this rate, I might pre prep for auto arms and middle shield. If I can. Well, the, I, those things are spawning right now, right? Like Omega spawning right now, so you would contest yeah. Omega first and then prep the item after. <laughs> I'm Check just so used to getting up there on wool. Oh, it's closed, anyways, never mind. Are there any purple crates on the map? <clears throat> Not that I can see. Well, there's one in forest, but I don't and know if I want to And then two between there. cemetery and chapel. Right, I yeah. Would, I would take some time to check those, because there's not really anything else on the map that's really worth doing, unless you want to go to Outtown. Because the idea is we can maybe get some good RNG off of them, whether it's a forest core or something else. Right. And then try to get vision of the bears if possible. Okay, they're level five. Fuck. Do you have W on self cast? Yes, I do. It's so much better. That hurts so much. Yeah, she's on Scotty Glacials though, so it's like you're, you're just getting item diffed. If you add those, yeah. you win that, no problem. Uh, I think your use of Volt could definitely be changed. So like in that situation, you pretty much want to ride it for a little bit because it stalls for your cooldowns as well. And then you go for the stun. Uh, I... Yeah, that's the thing. If it only hit her, I could have pushed it to the wall, but it hit her camera, so it just stopped right there. Oh, I didn't know that. Thank you for letting me know that. I thought that you canceled it. Yeah, no, it, it can stop anywhere from cor uh, invisible corners, 
and just dead entities as well. So it's kind of buggy right now. Oh shit, really? That's fucked. What do you mean? Because her camera works as a player. Yeah, that's so the thing. So it's it... like, if it hits, does it cancel if it hits two players? Oh, it, it cancels if it hits anything. So sometimes the Barbara can just clip into her camera model. And if I ult into that, then it just stops there and it doesn't do any damage to her. Jessica saying otherwise. I don't know. Well, I'll I'll look into that after because that's very interesting. Because it's not supposed to work that way, and that's why you're saying it's a bug. Like I don't like you might I don't know you might be right, but we we won't focus on that too much. Uh, um, I actually do think you're kind of right that it's like. You actually do have like a kind of solid game plan. You know what you're doing. Your routing is fine. Um, it does seem to be that like just your matchups and fighting can be improved a little bit. Yeah, and when I'm trying to lead into my Q, I kind of mistime my E, so I can't catch them. But that's just my fault. Yeah. Um. The ultimate, I think we just need to slow down a little sometimes because it was like there were a lot of times where you ulted like really early into the fight where it's like you can kind of save it as an execute. You know? Yeah, I just tried to lead into a wall slam, but Hyonu just walked out of it, so I couldn't do it. I understand. Hmm. The tree thing, though, was probably the most impactful thing there. If we could have gotten on top of the uh, Barbo, it would have been good. And the fact that we have a one rotation that can just instantly delete her turret, I think, makes it kind of worth it. Especially right. considering that uh, she's not actually that great of a Barbo player. You can pretty much tell because she did ult W instead of ult Q, which is meta at the moment. Um, I mean, I still died, so... I mean, yeah, no, you still died, but that's one way that, like, at the moment, you can tell which barbers are adapting correctly and which ones aren't by which, right. which ult they're using. <clears throat> oh, got cancelled by Barbie. Oof. That's rough. Thank you, Cap. Either way, it was misfortunate, you know? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Lot of Lukes, what the fuck? You're playing on NA, right? Oh, yes I am. Okay, so I'm not crazy. There's just a random amount of Lukes playing out of nowhere. I mean, sometimes I've seen up to seven in one game, so it's not that strange. Very odd. I haven't seen that all fucking week. So that's why I'm like seeing five loots in a lobby and I'm questioning what the fuck's going on. <laughs> Must be the time I play, because I do play at different times, you know, compared to most people. I play kind of early, actually. You'll just see a drastic yeah. different amounts of people. I mean, I see, I tend to see more loots during nighttime. So that might be one thing. Yeah. Very casual character. Only one Nikki. It's actually really nice that your games have had like one archery person at most so far. I've been dealing with like three in a lobby besides me every game. Ugh. Yeah, I had to switch my builds when I was doing ranks since everybody spawned either archery or factory. Mm hmm. So that was a pain, but. It's been our tree factory temple for the longest fucking time lately. Ended up spawning hospital and I greased myself for three games, but that was fine. <laughs> hmm. I'll put on some music real fast. Hmm, it's a little uh... Good Oh. 
멋지잖아. 쓸만한. Unlucky. Really unlucky. Yeah, after this, we move everything. on anyways. Nothing we can really do about it. <clears throat> the emoting is cute. Yeah, I mean, I used it so I don't rage, and it turned out to be a habit. Hey, that's good. <clears throat> oh, really good leather RNG. You have a lot of extra time. There's a Sylvia to the left of you. What's her build? Okay, so we don't have vision of the Sylvia yet. Okay, so she's out of E. Oh, I think you got her. Nice. Um, do you're gonna hate hearing me say this, but make choco pies real fast or Easter egg, whichever one you want. But you need some kind of food going into this and rest for a second before walking up. Right. There's a nice little. Yup. This is kind of why. You can leave if you want. I'm not gonna make you stay. Yeah, I don't want to fight with Easel, so I'm understandable. Sorry. I think being able to walk away from the objective is actually a strong point. <laughs> Oh. I think that's death. Barely got out. I think that's something that we can look over afterwards to talk about a bit. There was a lot different I think we could do. Good notice on the noise. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, he died to Fiora. Attack the wolves. This is gonna be really weird, but I want you to take the food. Oh, it's gone. Shit. Never mind. Where do you want to go? I'm gonna have to go forest, so I'm just gonna TP in. Okay. What food do you want to make here at Forest? Uh, probably more good. I would actually recommend fish fillet with eggs, personally. Oh wait, yeah, that was a thing. Yep, let's grab this egg and then go fish up some food real fast. <clears throat> also, while I don't think the sheets thing is a bad idea, I don't feel like we have the time for it right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. What's the random sheets crafting for? It's for crafting mastery. Oh god, why did that just fly over here? What the fuck? Faisal just wants me to get tree, that's why. What does Crafting Master do? Uh, it makes all your equipment give a percentage of extra stats. It's very minor in most cases. It's not a very important stat, but it can hedge some fights. Yep. 
생존자가 사망했습니다. 이제 생존자가 10명 남았습니다. 먼저 가진 사람이 주인이다. 나도 너와 이게 될 바리다. 잘 쓰도록 하자. I, cause you're missing some things, but the item you're missing isn't that important. I feel like it's much better for you to just chase behind this and maybe see if you can get the kill. Probably, but the skill amp is probably is really good. It is, yeah. There you go, good shit. This is exactly why I said that. Good shit, man, good job. Alright, let's take their food and their stamina, make sure to grab their cameras, and then we'll head out. <laughs> so you're full build, what do you want to do now? Oh, get food and hunt players. That's probably my main goal right now. We've got decent food and we can make a little bit more whenever we kill something. So we pretty much want to be hunting players. It's about seven minutes now. Where do you think players are going to be looking for? Not quite sure. Maybe Avenue Hospital? Um, I feel like time is a little past for that. I would go to Alley instead. Um, Hospital, Avenue, definitely not. Uh, but Hospital Wolves have probably already been killed. Uh, and the players probably moved on already, but if you go to Alley, those wolves are more than likely not been finished yet. Oh, we can do Alpha. Perfect. <clears throat> do you want to make Myth Water? Do you not really value any no, I'm gonna use make for it? Mithril Armor? Mithril Armor? Okay. And hey, what are we going to do with Blood? Are you going to make the new CDR arm piece or something different? No, uh, I think I'll go with the Opera Mask. Opera Mask? I'm not sure. I don't know if I agree with Opera Mask, actually. But I'm not going to tell you no. That's something we'll have, you'll have to look into later. <laughs> you don't have to walk away. No, you win that. I mean, all right. But I feel like that's like a free win for you, you know? Like you had already yeah, but then him I wasted my cooldowns on him, so I don't. I can do any two in the next ten seconds. I mean, your W's down, but his W is also down, so he doesn't have any more damage than you do. So you're already winning in that situation. All you have to do is just Q on him and keep it auto attacking in your autos, or in your right. Q. Yeah, I could have done that. And since we still have E up, really all we need to do is wait for him to overcommit into it, uh, into like something like maybe he does like Q on you and then E, and you're near a wall. And then you can like QE into him and then ult and set up a lot of extra damage. Now, I'm, I'm not trying to say that I actually think that RMP is better than VF Blood Mask. I'm just not entirely sure that I would actually build VF Blood Mask on this character, you know? Do you see pros playing it? Like, is there. If you have Sometimes reasoning, why you build it? I mean, it kind of supplements for the lifesteal, especially if you're going Gucci up. Because um, yes. flat amp drops over, over But flat time. amp doesn't trigger lifesteal, so you do have to keep that in mind. Right, but then Leon's pretty much an audio tech character. He is, yeah. The damage isn't too much, though, I think. The main reasonings for me are, like, if you were to use it, is the passive damage, which is really nice. The movement speed to help you get on top of people, which I think is probably the best case, like, the best argument right. for it. And then, um, honestly, it's just really those two. The movement speed and the passive are really nice. You could, of course, do the new accessory as well, but I don't know about that one. The only reason I thought about the arm piece is because CDR seems to be really nice on this character and uh, it gives HP as well, so it kind of does feel like an upgrade from Sajahan. I think so. I mean, it gives me a pretty as well. Yeah, and we're not doing uh, Scotty this game, as far as I've seen. No, could do red really. shoes. How do you feel about that? Uh, it's probably worse, actually. You need attack speed and feathers is like your only attack yeah, speed. Yeah, it's kind of bad. If I do go lace, then it's not that bad, but... Now keep in mind, Mithril Armor actually lost its attack speed as well this patch. So there may be some cases where Mithril Armor isn't the answer anymore, you know? It's good yeah, so defensively, I keep it... though. I mean, I keep it against to use it against uh, ranged, so right. it's not bad in grip. <clears throat> My whole concept here is just to make sure that you're thinking about like through patch through patch, like what thing is actually better over what's not, you know? And right. You seem to be doing a pretty good job of that. Don't forget to equip it.
So now we're at 45% CDR. You want to try to fight that Luke, or do you want to go somewhere else? I mean, it's the same Luke, so I might go for it. Yep. I would also recommend when we're done, or like, let's say he leaves and we're really not catching up to him. Because we're going to ideally right. kill this. Oh. So I think we eat just a little late there. Okay, yeah. So that's 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 the situation where we should have eat like immediately when he right. cues into you and then e's behind you because he's out of mobility at that point. He would basically have to be hard predicting your e. And since you're doing it that early, if he does hard predict it, we can pretty much walk away. You know? Yeah, I kind of underestimated him because he went amp Luke, and I don't see that often. But yeah, it's still pretty terrifying. And then I think once we're done with our three auto attacks from W, it's better to kite him out at that point and then wait to reset. Right. So do you want to do... Yeah, we can do, do, another... to do a third team? Mm -hmm. Also, are you canceling your ult before you hit the wall? Oh, no. You should. The wall, the, the wave will carry a little bit further from where you cancel it. Right. So which, and this is actually huge for part of your combo potential on Luke. Is that, or not on Luke, but on... Uh, Leon, you have to cancel it right before you hit the wall so that you hop off, but then the wave still hits the wall and then they still get stunned for a little bit and you're not like stuck in the animation still. All right, I'll look into that. Yeah, yeah, I'll try it out. Cause I think it gives you like an extra half second of being able to actually like move around. So like you can get it in a free auto attack before they uh, their stun finishes. I, I heard about it, but back when I was playing Le Leon, I didn't have good ping, so it didn't work. I understand. But now I do, so I'll try it. I actually think something to think about for your E is, um, have you ever played Tianwu or Magnus at all? Uh, just Tianwu. So you know how on Tianwu, sometimes before you use E, you'll wait for your opponent to commit their movement options? Right, yeah. I think you want to start using or thinking of your Leon in the same way in certain cases, you know? You mean with my W? No, with your E. Oh, okay. So what you want to do, like for the knockout, you wait for your opponent to use a movement ability of some kind. You don't have to do this all the time, right? There's a time to do it and a time to not, so I would experiment between. In most cases, it's going to be like... If you're trying to get like a good engage on an opponent, you can use E to like force them to like reposition, which is fine. But let's say you're already on top of them. There's no reason for you to force E at that point, right? Right. So you basically, once you get on top of them, you do your damage, hold on to E, wait for them to like commit a movement ability. So like, for instance, against Luke, he has E to hop behind you. So if you try to E on top of him, he's ideally, you know, if he E's you at the right time, he can avoid it. So you wait for him to E because Luke's are brain dead and they don't fucking move after that because they're expecting you to be slowed, right? Right, right. So then you E and then you get the knock up on him. Um, for someone like, who else would be a good example? Rozzy's kind of a good example. You can wait for her to W and then once her W movement speed, uh, like extra movement speed ends, then you would QE to get back on top of her. On Hyojin, you would wait for her talisman. Uh, it really just depends. But the idea is like once their movement is down, it becomes a lot easier to land that ability, you know? And then the other end is if you know the character has a lengthy animation for an ability, a good example being Magnus Q, uh, you can wait until you notice that animation and then E into them. It's very difficult, but it helps to line up, you know, landing that knockup because it is kind of important. Yeah, I'll uh, look into it. I'll try it out. If we miss tree this game, I want to try and contest second tree if you don't mind. Uh, either in forest and hospital? Would, yeah, whichever one, depending on like zones. Okay, yeah, I'll try that. Certain characters can multicast their movement ability. What? I mean, if Emma R's, there's still a cooldown period before when she can R again. 
the idea is just using it when they can no longer use a movement ability to avoid it specifically. All right, well then you wait for all three of her E's to, to go away. And then she can't again for like 12 seconds almost. Same for Lee Dai Lin. Just be patient, you know? That was good. What the? Win medal is just made to be given, right? Oh, it's hard to win. Yeah, okay, good. I was gonna mention I wouldn't bother checking that box, so I'm glad you moved on. She more than likely teleported through this way. Um, so it might have been better to go up, but you got good shit. It's always a coin flip, to be honest, so there's no correct answer. <clears throat> but as long as you stick to a decision of any kind, it's good. Good mother. Hmm. Where are we going next? Hotel? Oh, a cemetery. Okay. So we are not contesting tree this round. I mean, I could go for sentry. But that depends, but... I don't think it's entirely worth it since we're here now. No, I don't think our timing is going to really be worth it. But if you want to, I won't stop you, you know? <coughs> Kinda sucks. We haven't found ice yet. There we go. You wanna pick up that mouse trap? You I know you like doing fire traps, so it's like we could do that now. Uh later. Okay. What are you looking for or are you leaving? I'm going to get the wolves, get the leather, and maybe be hmm. Okay. Not quite sure. I think it might have been slightly better to step up into the uh, hospital to try and see if those wolves were up. Right. But it's like... You have to go into cemetery anyways, so... Uh, I won't say this is terrible compared to that, because... If you go into hospital and they're down, then you kind of waste time and you have to go to the teleporter, but you could say the exact same for this way, so it's like, it's a coin flip. I don't think... As long as the wolves were up, it's fine. <clears throat> yeah, we could contest this. You just have to keep in mind that if you see an opponent that's stronger, then you need to just give it up. And I would probably pick up water. You don't want this tree? It's spawning right now. I'm just gonna get this box. Okay. Kathy's coming over. Good joke. So this is a situation where going for that box actually did punish us a little bit. Because if we hadn't come to that box, you would have been able to grab the tree in those few seconds. You might have actually been able to get it. That is true, yeah. And then, um, 
you had water, water and ice earlier and you kind of just drank the water, I think making ice water would have been a little bit better since we ended up using them both that way anyways. I'm guessing you were holding onto the ice in case you found coffee though. Oh, I was trying to get it for, save it for the second rush to glacial ice. Ah, I understand. Literally nothing. It's just poverty simulator right now until we find some SP. I think you might be dead, actually. That was a good juke. Yeah, I might be dead. We just don't have the SP to actually run, but these might work. Cut right. Go back through. And then cut up towards chapel to use that one as well. There you go. Good shit, man. And then grab this water. <laughs> I guess we fucking need it. <laughs> I need water bottle. <laughs> you can also make uh, the other thing with the lighter. Yeah. I never thought I'd need a water bottle in this game. I use it all the time, actually. Better than nothing, for sure. There you go. I don't know if I'd stay here. I think going to forest is a better idea. Because you need food, and a forest is the best location for what you have to make food, being boiled water. Right. So yeah, if anything from here, big takeaway I think is uh, you can use those uh, movement speed boosts to get out of situations that otherwise you'd be damned in. Why not kill the bat? Take the camera. You don't have to go back. No, no, no. Yeah, I would have kept going on once you pass it. If I mention something, you don't have to like go back and correct it. I more so just want to know like your thought behind it. And if it's, oh, well, I wasn't thinking about it, I understand, you know? And it's just something to think about later. Because it's since it's a level 1 bat, it takes like no time at all. Right. If it was like a level 7 bat, like this one, I would have understood walking straight by it. Because like, you know, the first one took one second, this one took like three seconds. It does add up. <laughs> so normally what I'll do when I'm in a situation like this, uh, I don't know how much you need big SP, but I would do like two things of boiled eggs and then one thing of honey. Wait, you can... No, in 70 seconds. Never mind. Good. Fuck, man, there's literally nothing here. Holy shit. Okay, finally. <clears throat> Alright, going in the beach isn't a bad idea right now. Bear should be respawning. Oh, you want tree? Fuck. Yeah, you no, no, no. You can go for tree. I forgot about that. My bad. I might be too late for this one as well. Not quite sure. It really depends if someone's there, but we haven't seen noise, so you can assume you're fine. And then, what's the fastest way to make Scotty at the moment? Or would you prefer Glacials? Which one? No, Scotty. Okay. Glacials, I tend to lose too much on attack speed. Mm -hmm. So unless I can get a Myth Helm, then that might change, but... Uh, well, keep in mind, Tac Ops has more attack speed than Myth Helm. Right. 
Myth chest, though, I 100% uh, agree. I do think it's probably worth it, though, just because of the damage. Like, you lose attack speed, yes, but you really only need two autos against most characters to, you, like, chunk them out, and then you can kind of reset and wait to go back in. But I, I agree that I wouldn't make it first. It's always the second item for me. Did you go hospital? I need the eyes. You do, yes, you're right. I wasn't thinking about that. There it is. Perfect. Didn't the chest get nerfed? Ah, oh, you're right. I forgot. It's attack speed's gone too. Fuck. I'm down bad after that. I used to love building um, chests for the attack speed. You want to do this before you go? You'll have to commit your abilities for sure. Damn. But it's, it is absolutely worth it, though. The mastery from it is quite nice. Yeah, it is. Uh, the boar is kind of the same one? thing. Yeah, it, it, the boar is a lot of HP, so it's like you can rush it down. And then we'll go into Avenue and finish things up. Where's Omega spawning? Oh, uh, hit tab. Alley. So it's like, once we're done with this, keep an eye. Oh, someone's already at it. Never mind. You're not gonna get it. I think it's a Hyun Woo. Oh, I saw a Nikki up there. Oh, okay. I only saw, like, the bottom of the face. You don't know how long I was doing it beforehand. Sounds like you're dealing with someone frustrating. I'm talking to my girlfriend, sorry. I would put a camera in this bush. Just because we know she's right there, we don't want to get ambushed. Or was there. What did he make? Hit tab for me. Did he make t a crown? Oh, he made PF? What the fuck? All right. Okay. Um, I think. Oh, you can pick up that garlic. And then open the bear. Take the meat. Boom. <laughs> Looking for lighters here, I'm guessing. Uh, binocular. So I can make uh, time for yeah. Upgrade more cameras. Why the fuck did you drop like three cameras? Time to troll! Dexy Lexi, thank you for the follow. Really appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the content. I mean, we need to get out of here, yeah. It would be nice if we could do the wolves because they're spawning like right now, but not a big deal. <laughs> Sausage. Keep in mind, Wick is spawning, so it's like it would have been nice to have been over there, but I don't know how your Wick clear is, so I can't even like say if you can kill it quickly or not. But the big thing is keeping an eye on its movement right now to make sure that like no one's doing it, which I think someone could be. You should go towards forest. Oh, this is fine. QE should kill her. Nice. Perfect. Good shit, good shit. Ooh. Yeah, we want out of here. Um, I would head to forest, to be honest. Like, that would be my absolute priority right now, would be getting to forest as fast as possible. 
Oh, you mean to go to wolves? No, for Wick. She's there oh. right now. <laughs> oh yeah, she's still alive. Yeah. Uh, killing Wickaline is so like going for the kills was good for like a ladder standpoint if you're trying to climb. Take that four score. Drop the meteorite, or that's fine too. And then you just ignore him now and head to be head to beach. Uh, you completely ignore this. Fuck these boxes. If you want to equip that, you can. I I've heard that it's better in some matchups. Uh, but like Wickaline is. Yeah, if you want to. I'm not telling you to. It's up to you. Like, I don't know if it's actually better or not. I've just seen some people wear it. Uh, the big thing right now is you should be, like, beelining to Wick and killing that because no one's around right. you. Pull it. And now we make distance. So she's stalking it. It's good to know. Let it Just let it soft reset off you. Which means, yeah, you just keep walking away. And Did it should be. Your aggro? It, yeah, if you hit it, it continues increasing its aggro. So you just keep walking, it'll eventually fall off. It does take a while. Okay. And now she's fighting it, so you need to be going down there. Oof. That was close. You had the right idea there. Oh, I think you're dead. Nope, she fell back. Okay. Stop. Get back in the bush. That's fine too, I guess. That's fine. You just—I needed you to rest. <laughs> uh, look at her on the map. No, I meant like click on her because she's like on your map. You have vision of her right now, just to see what's going on. Okay, she's crafting. Because the Shenmue was there, I was trying to figure out like what's going on with them. You probably lose to her, to be honest. But let's check this legendary crate. She wasted all. You could go in. Drop a camera there. <clears throat> and now you see why. Because she, I figured she'd be routing up, so we dropped the camera to make sure we have vision of her coming up. We're out of food. That's pretty rough. We've had to eat a lot. I'm just going to have to settle with the uh, grilled carp. Yeah, but Hyun Woo's playing for second at this point, so he's going to run you down. So you either need to be using Q to make distance or queuing on him to poke him down as he gets closer. Because otherwise he'll slowly catch up to you. Right. Yeah, you have to keep queuing. You can't stop. Like, his E's going to be coming off cooldown in a second and he'll be on top of you and then you're fucked. So just continue to queue, queue off cooldown to make distance. Yeah, you can TP into zone. TP in the beach. Okay. I'll be honest, that was risky because we heard him queue there, so I figured he was still sitting here. If you TP... Yeah, I heard him near the teleporter, so I didn't want to risk it. Yeah, but he, we you can hear his footsteps walking back out. He's already left, right? The idea is you TP because more than if I were him, I'd be sitting in that bush waiting for you to come back in, and then you're just going right. to eat as you walk back through. Whereas if you take the TP, you get a good coin flip of like, okay, am I going to get fucked on RNG or not? It's still RNG, but I, I think it was better than taking that risk. Oh, oil, perfect. By the way, looking at our two matchups, I do think Battlesuit is better than Rockers here. It's a little bit better. He doesn't have food now. And then next time you do that, uh, that poke was perfect, but just make sure you W and D skill as well. Right. You can definitely commit those to the fight. Go to the right zone. Don't go to this one. She's sitting there, so it's like, if you sit in here, you can kind of wait. Because you don't have the timer to really contest that fight right now. You know? Now he's dead. So it's like, now it's you versus her, but it's better than walking up there and then getting killed before him. Because maybe he turns on you and now that you're low, it's easier for her to fight you. You have to fight her, you, you have no other choice.
Oh, I'm it. Yeah, it sucks, but you don't have the timer to, out, to like wait for zone to finish. So the moment she walks right. in there, you have to take that fight. I spent too much time getting to the right zone. So if I queued there, I might have been there faster. Maybe five seconds. Oh, uh, possibly. I think uh, once we stepped into uptown, I think it should have been our priority to TP out. Right. That's the thing. I heard Hyunu near the teleporters. So I didn't know. If yeah, you could but just it's like. There. If he steps up, to be honest, then at that point you can just like, then you make distance, you know? That is true, yeah. So overall, not terrible. Uh, there's definitely things we can talk about though, right? So the first thing is, I you, I think you, you really need to like work on your poke combo. Like you need a better mindset of what you're doing for poke damage and what you're doing to like hard commit into the fight, right? Um, right, yeah. So like with the Hyunwoo there, when he walked up, you queued him and then you just started auto attacking him and there's no reason for you to not W, right? Wing and descaling are not hard commits to the fight because they're only like 10 second cooldowns, they're good bursts of damage, and once you've used them, like that's kind of their purpose. Right, okay. Uh, so make sure you're using your W and descale, even if you're just like trying to auto people a little bit, it's absolutely worth it, it's good damage, and that's what's going to put you in the position to decide if you want to hard commit or not. Hard committing Yeah, I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure yeah. if the W buff lasts through the shield, if it just died if he popped it. Uh, your W buff should still, uh, last through the shield. It, you get three hits. I was kind of worrying about that. Yeah, so, I, I'm pretty sure, we can check real fast, but I'm pretty sure it lasts even once your shield's gone. It's gonna be based on wording. Let me sit here. Skills. Uh, shield is target for a few seconds for the next few normal attacks. The shielded character deals extra damage and creates a pool behind them. I'm pretty sure, it, based on how it's worded, that it lasts even once the shield's gone. Because once you think about it, when you use all three auto attacks, the shield's still there, right? Yeah. So I'm pretty sure it works the other way too, where it's like if the shield's broken, he still has the damage. And even even if he doesn't, uh, I wouldn't care too much if like you don't get the third auto, but like. If you W auto descale, you're guaranteed to get those two, right? And that's like that's right, so right. much damage. It's like that should be your quick poke combo. Is Q um, auto W D or W auto D? Sorry, because you get the shield up and then you get your auto. Which W is an auto reset too, actually. So you could do auto W uh, descale, right? That is true. Yeah, I'll, I'll try that later. Um, and that's gonna be your quick burst combo and that's what's you should use that before you ever think about hard committing unless you already know That it's like I've done this matchup a thousand times I know if I land E on this opponent I kill them and like I was trying to say E is your hard commit E or ultimate I don't think you should ever engage a fight with ultimate though to be honest You should always look to land the E knock up and if you don't get the E knock up You should only land your ultimate if they're standing right next to a fucking wall because they're dense uh, Which will okay. happen. Yep. Um and then from there, I'm sure you already know kind of what you're doing from Leon. Make sure you're using your D. Uh, it's not an auto attack reset anymore, but it, it's technically an auto that's off of the cooldown. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, that is true. I, I wasn't sure if it was if it's affected by Leon's passive, it is. especially the flat amp. So I was I was trying to use it as an approach, not really more of a combo. You can. It's good burst damage regardless, but it is. For all intents and purposes, it is still an auto attack, so it will proc your Ws, it'll proc your passive. Um, the W is an auto attack reset, I believe, so keep that in mind. Uh, you can do auto W to get like a nice two autos off, and then you can use D skill to follow it up, like we said. Uh, Qs, on cooldown, when you're being chased, just fucking spam that ability, man. Um, there's no reason to not, it's three second cooldown, you're not committing anything by using it, and it's just gonna help you run away faster. So like the Hyunwoo, you have about the same MS as him, but he's using his E off cooldown, so if you're not using your Q off cooldown, then he's gonna eventually catch you like we saw. Um, right, okay. And then if you want to take the fight, right, you don't want a hard run from them, it's the opposite. You Q behind you, because he'll eventually catch you, right? But when you Q, yeah. you're doing a little bit of damage to him, and then maybe you could do your burst combo E away to the other side, and then keep making distance. As he comes back, rinse and repeat. You'll eventually whittle them down to the point where you can actually get what you want. But that's assuming you know that you can get away with that. You're going to have to test between characters or just use like solid game sense to figure out which ones you want to do it with and which ones you want to do it against. Tree of Life, uh, what's up? Oh, uh, no, it's okay. Yeah, so Tree of Life, it's definitely a huge objective for you. You want Glacial Scotties. Uh, without Scotty, I don't think this character is anywhere near, like, top tier, like, everyone agrees he is. Um, and I think that might be the pr why you're, like, struggling a little bit, because it does seem like we're struggling to get Scotty online. 
Um, yeah, I haven't played Leon since the new major patch, so I'm kind of used to forest tree being quick after hotel, so I just usually contest yeah. forest instead. It's but... way more punishing now if we miss it, so it's like you yeah. have to be way more on top of your game because you're having to f contest way more people for that tree. Um, so I've been moving more into myth or shield auto arms if I could, and maybe occasionally get cemetery tree, but I've been working on the route a little bit and seeing if it works. Right. I would definitely just double down on the hotel one because I feel like you're one of the stronger people going to hotel. You may lose the Linux, but I think it's a skill based matchup. Um, from that point, though, if you miss the first tree, you absolutely need to contest the second one, you know? Right. Um, which I we only did in that very last game. Uh, you did go out of your way to do it. I only had to mention it like one time. So you are thinking about it, but I just want to like solid, put that into concrete, you know, make sure you're doing that every game. Uh, if you miss the first one, it's abs it's okay to go for alpha and then maybe you can do myth shield instead of Saja Han, but you lose some HP. So maybe you don't want to. I'm not going to say which one I think is best because I don't know. You'll maybe go into practice mode, figure out which one's best for damage and then which one gives you the best survival stats. Okay. Um, or you could just ask it like someone who plays Leon more than me. From there, the fire trap thing. I'm not gonna tell you it's bad, but what I will say is when we're going into alley, which you seem to like to do a lot, you're losing a lot of, uh, you don't have much inventory space. And you seem to manage it fine, which that's really what's important. If you feel confident that you're managing your inventory fine, then just keep fucking doing it, no problem. But if you feel like there's games where you're running, like your inventory is really bothering you, that's when you need to ditch the oil cloth because you can just make another one later. Right, I haven't noticed any inventory problems on Leon, but on other characters I don't make fire traps since it's very inventory consuming. Right. Um, the last thing is farming rotation. So we didn't see a single game here where you really got into a farming rotation at all, which I won't say is terrible because you're actually playing a more objective game plan right now on Leon. You're wanting to fight for cemetery tree, but let's imagine, or sorry, the first tree, but let's imagine you get that tree of life. You need to have like a good farming rotation set up at that point because you've already gotten your good, your big objective. You really don't care to fight for the rest. So you need to like already have a game plan in mind in that end. Do you have a, like, do you have a farming rotation that you have in mind? And do you know I, animal respawn times? Yeah, I do. And I try to clear the bottom side of the map to like dock to hospital if I can. Okay. Because I already clear uptown and, uh, not uptown. I cleared the ones in beach while I'm looking for my arm piece right and then if uh if they're still there and if the zones are open i do topside alley to temple so more than likely what i'm thinking based on timing right is that by the time you're done at docks your hotel wolves will be respawning so i think it might be better to go back to hotel then because you you're you know those camps are respawning at that point right because i'm assuming by the time you're done at docks it's around seven to eight minutes if you're being fast oh uh, you mean the this one the one that takes me from school to dock no, that's not the one I was talking about. Uh, if this is the one you're doing, uh, then you're not going to hotel, I guess. You'd be at cemetery. I really don't think it's worth fighting for the cemetery wolves as they respawn. So in this one, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, what you're saying. You could do the the ones at docks. Oh, for this is the one I meant. I thought you were saying like when you're done with forest, you'd like to go to docks for bears, which that's fine. Yeah, I do go to, I clear the uptown <laughs> docks and then I go back to hotel and clear from hotel LA to temple. I wouldn't worry about alley to temple like i wouldn't bother going to temple because uh you might be fine it, it's based on timing but you want to make sure you're going back to docks when the right, bears right. are respawning so as long as you're making that that's fine but you need to be there the moment they're respawning and that's the last thing i want to impress on you is punctual timing right <laughs> it's i think you could work on that a little bit more there's you're willing to like waste a few seconds which in the grand scheme of things it's seconds it seems like it's pointless right but for that cemetery tree there was that one game where i feel like we actually lost it because you wasted a few seconds checking the box you know right. whereas being there the moment it spawns you would have gotten it and then you probably could have gotten away from the cat because it's a kathy share chase potential yeah i wasn't amazing. completely used to the cemetery tree being first so I kept on thinking that it was the last one, so I was just brushed by it. I gotcha. So that, that was on me, but... Usually, I mean, I don't really run with a full build, because I leave uh, my helmet at the ballistic helmet. Right. So I clear the, my rotation at docks, and I go to... Well, I get my battery at docks, so it takes about 5-6 minutes before I yeah. finish my build, but... Everything before that is finished before for authority, so I think I should be fine. Yep, okay. So those are my main big points. Do you have any other questions? Oh, uh, not really. 
I mean, you were very helpful, so... I want to say, by the way, I think... I think your food crafting could use a little work. We didn't really craft much food this game, but in the situations where you got low, you were focusing on getting more food, and that's that's the important piece. When you're low on food, you were thinking about making more, and you did a pretty good idea of what you needed to do to get it. Right, I'm not used to the food choices in here, especially the eggs and fish, because I'm not used to I'm more used to the baked potatoes and right. the baked goods. So those are things that I could probably look on. My best advice is just to learn the foods that can be crafted in one zone, uh, whether right. it's like with it and like, a, so bacon and garlic sticks is a great one, tandoori chicken, things that like mix with meat to make okay foods are solid. Uh, tandoori chicken and bacon and garlic being the main two. So tandoori chicken is curry with uh, meat. And then that's bacon and garlic sticks, which is the same end. Uh, it's on the right side, right below chocolate pies. There you go. 600 heal only makes one, but it's no different than a hamburger, right? It, people make hamburgers right. all the time, so it's solid. And then bacon and garlic sticks is literally just garlic and meat. Same shit, basically, but it's a 650, so it's really solid. Um, Those are the ones that I would, like, go out of your way to try to realize, like, how you can make it, because it's one fucking zone, right? So yeah. you can get it a lot faster compared to some of these other things, because I'll see people, and they're like, oh, I'm out of food. I'm going to make mocha bread real fast. It's like, why? What are you doing this for, <laughs> you know? Like, that's two zones minimum, three zones if you get bad RNG. Uh, whereas this gets you your food, and then you can work on those faster things, which, uh, the fish, you know, you had a good mindset for that, right? You dipped in, uh, you had your lighters, and you even mentioned, you were like, I'm beach, I'm gonna make the, uh, the fish there. It's not the best, but it's what you had, and when you picked up a can, you also upgraded that one, so that's pretty solid. SP, I really didn't see you make any, and I feel like that's kind of just because Leon really doesn't care about it as much. You don't need it. Yeah, if I, had milk, if I got milk in Chapel, I was planning to make white rushes, and that would carry me to the end of the yeah. game. So it's like but not as big of a deal. Died there, so. Right. It's not as big of a deal on this character compared to others. Just keep in mind that it's like in some character in on some characters that you play, you might need to worry about SP a little bit more. Right. I think that'll be pretty much it. Oh! And fucking <laughs> go for a win. <laughs> That's the last thing. Like, I died inside when I watched you uh chase kills for a little bit in Avenue as Wick walked up the forest. Because in my mindset, it was like literally everyone was in Avenue and Wick was walking to forest and I was like, it's free. If right, I'm completely used to not even having Wick at all because when I play ranked, pretty much my build doesn't even take me there and it spawns at 10 minutes, so I don't really have that much time to contest for it. It spawns later now, though. Escape. Yeah, I'm not used to it at all, so that's the thing. Yeah, so it's like we, we're we much more likely to actually be able to get Wickline. Uh, so in the case that we were there, it's like we needed to just keep going for it. But yeah, I think you did pretty solid there. You know, we ended up catching up to it eventually. When it's on the map like that, though, uh, you took the hot times to, like, open open corpses and check and check crates. Fuck that. Beeline it. Like, go straight to Wickline. Because the, your first concept should be, like, I need to get sight of Wickline to, to uh, make sure no one's, like, secretly doing it and i don't know you know right um because if someone's killing wick then that's basically game winning for them at the moment it, it wick absolutely more than ever wins games right now because it lasts until the end of the game so yeah i need to get used to that temple right and then that's pretty much it i don't think i really have anything else if you have questions coming up like at any point feel free to ask um even like after the fact right once we like close stream and everything yeah well i can't think of any questions at the moment so yeah well i appreciate you taking the time to do this man um i think it was a yeah, pretty thanks solid for the session. help it helped a lot yeah hopefully we'll see you again at some point and we'll see some kind of improvement you know catch you around yep see you later thanks all right and that's pretty much going to be it for me today uh, it's already late. We don't really have enough time to play another game. I appreciate everyone who's been by here today. If you're interested in doing a coaching session yourself, make sure to sign up using exclamation point coaching. All you have to do is fill out that, and when I have an opening slot, I'll let you know, uh, ideally a day or two in advance. I'm trying to set up a big calendar for it so I can have, like, more organization with it, but I'm pretty shitty at this. So... Outside of that, if you're new to the channel and you've enjoyed the content you've seen today, drop a follow. And of course, if you're interested in talking, you know, after stream and stuff, I'm always active on my Discord, so feel free to join the Discord as well. Uh, we also have the YouTube where we're doing. If you're new to the channel, you can see a lot of our older content on there, as well as build guides, for instance. I have a build guide that I did for the Magnus uh, build that we've been playing a lot lately on there. Uh, patch rundowns will go on there as well. I stream from 2 p.m. Uh, to 7 p.m. PST, Tuesday through Saturday. 
And that's pretty much it for me. Thanks guys for stopping by. Love y'all. We'll catch y'all next stream. Peace.